anything that the Holy Ghost leads you to do in Jesus' name. Again, thank you for joining us today. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. I'm going to let's give the Lord a hand clap before I hear. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I said, come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. The Lord today, and we greet our, 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 our viewers watching live. Come on, let's get the Lord a hand. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Well, I want to thank the Lord before I get, get started. I want to thank the Lord for uh, our apostle, Apostle Vanessa Come on, listen to your feet. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 I want to thank God for Apostle Jackson for this opportunity. Yes, Lord. I thank God for the ministry the elders, everyone in your respective places. I thank God for my spiritual mother, Apostle John Nico, allowing me to be here today. I want to get started. Let me say this to you very quickly. Uh, what the Lord is doing today, my name is Prophet Donald Hayes. I just want to give us a little tracking in the spirit of where God is taking us and what God is doing in the spirit as it relates to our lives. And the Lord says uh, to say to us today, he says, behold, I do a new thing. Yes, Lord. He said, behold, I do a new thing. And the Lord yes, said to Lord. tell you today that if I'm going to do a new thing, I need you to forget the old thing. No, I, I, I need idea. you to forget the things that I've done for you before. I need you to begin to forget the ways that I've made for Hello. you before. I need yes, you to begin Lord. to forget about the things that have happened to you because yes, I'm trying yes, to do a new thing. God, I see oh, I'm yeah. trying to take you to new places. Yes, I'm trying yes, to open yes, up new yes, doors. Yes, I'm trying yes, to open a new opportunity. Yes, but you're focused on what left. <laughs> and I hear the Lord saying, and I want to walk this word. I hear yes. the Lord saying, many of you are, are, are grieving over a dead thing. <laughs> a family member, a loved one, a relationship, yes, a marriage, a business. Yes, and you're still stuck in that place. Mm. Saying, but God, I remember being. Yeah. <laughs> you're still. Going down memory lane talking about the good times. You still hanging with people, uh, uh, still shooting the breeze talking about when it used to be. Yes, uh -huh. And I hear the Lord say, but I'm calling you high, Miss Lisa. But I'm calling you deeper. Yes, Lord. But I'm calling you deeper. Yes, Lord. There's something in your belly that's been talking on you. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Saying that there's a greater life for me. Yes, Lord. There's a greater purpose for me. Yes, Lord. There's something that I was called to do. And God, I really don't know what it is, but I feel something talking at me in the middle of the night saying, but there's more for you. I feel something talking on me saying, you don't have to be in this bed with this, this married man. I feel something tugging on me saying, you don't have to be in this bed with this man. I feel something tugging on me saying, you can give the life to the kings that you want to give them. But every time, God, I feel the anointing. I get ready to do the new thing. Every time I get ready to walk into the new thing, my phone start ringing. Well, people start dropping by the house. Well, the thing that I said I wouldn't do when I didn't have any money for it, it's always there. Well, I don't have to go look for my drugs. They come looking for me. Come on. I, well, I, I work in real deliverance now. Come, hey, come on. on, work, come on. I don't have to go looking for that person. They come looking for me. Yes, Lord. Okay. And God, I'm tired of telling you that you have me. What I know you really know. See, well, right there. I said something. God, I'm tired of telling you that I'll follow you. 
what I know I really want. And Dr. Bynum said, God, if my silence is more truthful, then my ears can hear how to walk in your way. And I came to announce to you today. The season is changed. Oh, yes, Lord. I say, your season is changed. Yes, Lord. Your season is changed. Yes, Lord. Let me help you. Let me help you. Oh, yes, Lord. Watch this. Out of my house, you go to local shop. Watch this. Watch this. In, in 2014, I had just come from, from another continent, and I had just got back in Georgia. And when I got back in Georgia, I got there, and, and my cousin was lying in the hospital bed okay. with pneumonia and cancer. Mm. And I, I, I looked at it, and I said, we're going to pray today. Because God's going to heal you. And I begin to minister to him. We begin to pray. And I heard the word of the Lord say, in 20 days, you're going to be completely healed. And I'm telling you, two days later, she was completely healed. I looked at a woman uh, administrator with the school district and I was getting ready for my healing conference and I said to her, she said, well, my, my daughter has tried to have kids and every time they try, it's failed. And, and there's all kind of medical things going on that she can't produce. And I said, but God's going to touch her belly and she's going to have a child. And she, the next time she saw me, she said, man of God, I want to tell you that not only is she pregnant, but she's pregnant with twins. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Yes, yes. Praise Jesus. I looked at another woman who was dealing with cancer, and I said, God's going to heal your body. And we prayed the prayer of faith, and God healed her of cancer. I prayed for a man who had, who had almost 15% 20% of his heart pumping. He had such severe blockage. And we prayed for him. And the blockage in his heart moved. And the increase of his heart activity began to rise. I'm saying this to tell you that I don't want you to sit here and think you're just being entertained by some country boy. But I said this to tell you that when I speak a word, that the heavens are waiting to back it up. And some of you have been waiting for a good few. But all I need you to do is catch a hold to this word. That my season is changed. I know you've heard it before. I know they've said it before. But today I came to prophesy that your season is changed. Today I come to prophesy that your life has changed. Today I come to prophesy that this is the day of your new beginning. And I heard the Holy Ghost say what didn't work before, it will work again. Stop opening the door. Yeah. Well, you say that again, sir. Stop opening the door. 
Because the Lord said he ain't banging the door down no more. Say, He's not banging the door down anymore. All you got to do is stop answering the door. All you got to do is stop answering the phone call. All you got to do is stop hanging around that company. All you gotta do is say no. no. All you gotta do is tell them I don't want that life no more. Yeah, yeah, All you yeah. gotta do is tell them I'm ready for a change. Yes. All you gotta do is tell them I'm ready for something new. Yes. I'm tired of talking about past times. I'm tired of sitting here depressed. I'm tired of sitting here bound. I'm ready to have my life back. I came to tell somebody today, snatch your life back. Snatch your life back. Snatch your life back. Snatch your joy back. Snatch your peace back. Snatch your happiness back. And when you snatch it back, God's going to give it to you. It's going to work this time. This time. This time. Thank you, Father. Yes. The college admission, you're going to be approved this time. You yes, want to be accepted this time. The loan right. is going to go through this time. Right. The business is going to, the proposal is going to be accepted yeah, this yeah. time. Yes, Lord. 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 And look, I'm through. I'm through. Yes, I'm through. Yes, I'm through. Yes, yes, I'm through. Yes, but I hear the Lord throwing out the lifeline. I feel the Lord throwing out the lifeline. What's the lifeline? The lifeline is when somebody is drifting too far in the deep. Well, and it poses or it, it, it makes a threat for somebody else to go and rescue them. Come on. Well, because it puts two lives in jeopardy. Come on, come on. Instead of one. Yeah. And so the lifeguard throws out a lifeline, yeah. a circular floating device that you can hold on to. <laughs> and he can pull you or she can pull you back in. The Holy Ghost told me to tell you today that he's throwing out the lifeline today. Yes, because for some of you, you're at your lands. I, I feel the way to God. Stop it, you gotta go the other direction. You gotta stop it, you gotta turn. You gotta stop it, you gotta change. It may not be the same way if you go back. You may not make it back if you look back. You may not make it back if you keep hanging with those friends. You may overdose this time. You may die this time. While the Lord is throwing out the lifeline, somebody's YOLO in their life. You, 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 you're only living once, but you're only down once too, huh? You gotta get it right this time, huh? You gotta turn this time, huh? Ain't nobody bashing you, huh? Ain't nobody hating on you, huh? Ain't nobody talking about you, huh? But God is loving on you, huh? He's been so kind to you, huh? He's been so faithful to you. And he said, all you gotta do is turn. Yeah. Amen. All right. So, so, so one of the problems I had, woman of God, was I heard the word, but I didn't know how to act the word. That's it. Yeah. I'm you. I'm going to give you a step to ask the word. You ready? Mm -hmm. If you don't know what else to do. You ready? You ready, man? If you don't know what else to do. Find yourself in this house every Sunday, 12 times. <laughs> I've got to tell somebody that where you are is because of the last 10 choices and decisions you've made. <laughs> And if you want to change where you are, my brother, you got to take 10 more decisions and choices to change your life. What you're seeing, woman of God, is what you're speaking. And what you're speaking is what you've been thinking about. And the enemy, daughter, would have you to say things out of your mouth that are not productive. Are you with me? See, when you're carrying a baby, this is how the devil get a lot of us. Because Dr. Jackson, psychology tells us that what happens in the infancy stage of a baby's life affects how the baby will grow up to be. And a lot of you have been tricked to speak word curses over your children. I don't want this baby. 
I wish I would have got pregnant. I'm, see, you speak of rejection in your womb. But I break every word cursed off your life in Jesus' name. I break every limitation in Jesus' name. I shatter every restriction in Jesus' name. I break every limitation in Jesus' name. I push you into your prophetic destiny. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. So if I don't want the life I'm living, I gotta change the choices I make. I gotta make new choices. Now watch this, watch this. A decision is made in a moment. A decision, woman of God, is made in a moment. Let me help you, and I'm through. Dr. Jackson, I make the decision because of the counsel of the Lord that I had to make a change to my health. So next week, it'll be 60 days on Thursday, 60 days on Thursday, that I make the decision, Dr. Jackson, to become a vegetarian. I made the decision in one day. All it takes is one decision. See, the decision is not what produces the result. But it's the actions that follow the decisions. Some of you are frustrated because you made a choice and it has not better itself. Oh, but if you just keep on working, if you keep on walking, if you keep on talking, if you keep on praying, if you keep showing up here every 1230 on Sunday, your decision is going to begin to produce a leave. Amen. Amen. And so I can say that I'm about 25 plus pounds lighter. Glory. 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 You can go on Facebook and you can see for yourself, I made a decision. And I'm telling you today, don't give up on God. He not through with you. Amen. He's not through with you. Yes. Amen. If you don't know what to do, I encourage you by passing through. Make this place your home. Well, why why make this place my home? Because you don't know what else to do. You tried everything else and it failed. You tried everything else and it didn't work. And maybe you need somebody. They got a little bit more strength than you. Got a little bit more wisdom than you. That can pull you to your destiny. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of party. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of party. Come on, everybody, stand on your feet and give God praise. Come on, everybody, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. As you yes. your conference on, call your seat. Cross yes. over the street. Glory to God. Cross over the street and go tell somebody you love them in Jesus' name. Yes. Glory to God. Cross over the street yes. and go to the other side. Cross over the street. Love you. How you doing? Love you. How you doing? How you doing? How y'all doing? Love y'all. Oh, sister. How y'all doing? Sorry, I'm holding my the children now can be dismissed so they can go to their class. We're excited for children's ministry brought high. I wanted to order a uh, sister Regina Brown. Amen. Assistant Amen. Glory to God. Your children will be taught. Your children will pray. Your children will testify. Your children will learn. Your children will eat. They'll be loved to eat. They will not go away to go be beautiful. He's going to be around. Everybody stand on your feet. It's time to worship. I need to.
turn this music up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands all over the building and close your eyes. It's time to worship. Yes, it is. Oh, that can show Kobosi and that on the most high. Glory to the most high. Come on, lift your hands, everybody. Amen. With your eyes is closed. Glory to God. Open up your mouth. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. She called on all of the boats. She had on the boats. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Glory, 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 glory. Come on. I need to hear you. Come on. Yes, Lord. 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 You do miracles so great, and there's no one else like you. Come on, everybody. For oh, there is no one else like you. You do miracles so great, and there's no one else like you. Come on, yes. There is no one like you. You are great. 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 Oh yes, come on, let us see, let us see. Woo, woo, yes, come on. There is no one else. There is no one else like you. You do miracles so great. And there's no one else like you. Come on, somebody. There is. There is no one else like you. Grab somebody by the hand all across this building. Let no one be untouched. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this season. We thank you for this hour. We join hands where we are unit, where we are family. And God, we thank you for the prayer that has went forth for the apostle games. We thank God. Amen. For the uh, encouragement that went forth from the prophet Hayes. We thank you, Lord God, for everyone that has gathered from my God coming from Houston and all surround this area, Lord of God, of Irving, Texas. God, we thank you, Lord God, because we know your hand is upon this. And God, we thank you that we're in the right place. And because we're in the right place, we're getting ready to see you to move like never before. God, bless your holy name. I thank you, Lord God, that I'm see the open heads and above us. And I thank you, Lord God, there's a portal right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And I thank you, Lord God, not one prayer to believe you in the same way. That you yeah, called me to this place yeah, yeah. and that lies will never be the same. Yeah, yeah. I need you to drop that person hand, clap your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Let the rain. 
God going to give it to you. Hallelujah. When I go back into your life, lift your hands, man to God. Amen. If you are that tired, get ready to tie. Lift your hand, man to God, and look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Always look people in their eyes. Glory to God. As I'm going, three years of your life, I'm going back into your life. And I'm shutting every negative door, every false door. And there was an accident that came to your life. One of the most high that wanted to take you out. But God spared your life. And God said he spared it for a reason. He said because he has worked with you in the kingdom of God. And let me tell you something. What has been owed to you is going to come to God. Oh my God. Because God said he's going to overthrow the burden. Glory to God, what they denied it. God said, now I'm going to approve it. And the Holy Ghost told me to tell you, glory to God, and your wife. I don't know where y'all stay, but glory to God. God said, go buy a box and put a couple things in there and say to our dream house, not a new house, dream Say what? 
you are pouring out blessings and we will not have enough to room to receive at this time. But our children, 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 children will be able to receive. God, you said you will rebuke the devourer. Now, God will rebuke every devourer that's trying to devour their land. In Jesus' name, I need 50 croppers up in here and give God some praise.
spirit. I need to know it. I know your word is a surety. I know your word will fail. But I need some evidence. I need to find my sister to die. I need some evidence. The Lord goes high.
Diane, come on, because you hear me. I got a powerful reader today. Everybody powerful readers. You, you stand there being cute. What's happening? What we got to do? I look okay? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they, they on the wall like, okay, what's happening? Who trying to jump? Because we got some fruit loops. And we can just throw them out there. Hiya! Yeah. Girl, I'm going to preach to you because the rest of them, they trying to get the scripture. No, they don't understand Jesus talk. You ready? We're going to Jeremiah chapter 1. Go to verse 12. Y'all ready? You ready, man? Jeremiah chapter 1. I'm telling y'all, a miracle of acceleration. Yes. 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 The man of God and I did not talk. He didn't tell me what God gave him. I didn't tell him what God gave me. And his word, well, what was your word? Then we're in a new direction. New, new season. New, new, new thing is just bring forth. Okay, now, new means something that has not been done. Yeah. Yeah. That's new. Yeah. 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 All right? Now, when God said in the prophetic exhortation, and that's what that was. Yeah. So when y'all come to this ministry, you're going to have a prophetic exhortation that's because it. it's an apostolic house that's and it. we are prophetic. Yes. That's yes. Yes. So we have to be prophesied yes. all around you. Yes. 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 Are you hearing me? Yes. So if you get tired of somebody prophesying to you, then pack your bags, yes. amen, and go and go somewhere to the swamp yes. with nothing to come for. Come on. Because let me help you with something. I don't care about your education. Come on. I don't care how many years you've been on that job. Are you hearing me? Because all the years you've been on that job, you still are not where you're supposed to be. The level or the status of so what God is going to do, He's going to give you a prophetic word. That's going to cause everything to speed up. Amen. 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 Amen.
say would not fall to the ground. I'll honor it. The Lord said to Samuel, every word you say, I'm going to honor it. What word of you you say will fall to the ground? Think about it. 
house and speak. Don't let no celebrity come and hang out, God, holler, sit down.
he saw. And when Jeremiah responded to what he saw, that God was revealing, he said, you see, well, now I have to accelerate it to you. Jesus. Yes. Go to Judges chapter 7, verse 13. This is David's scripture. That's it. Work the word of house. I'm going to hasten. All right. That word hasten is acceleration. All right. Are you in? He's in the house. He's in the house. Verse 13. you came before in the back where you came. You came here before? You came here before? What about you two? Oh, I know what you with the children, but well, come on here, girl. <laughs> Judges chapter 7, verse 13. Verse 13. Yeah, well, I saw you before. Think about I saw you before. Yeah. The Lord, yeah. God, I saw you. Come on. That's right. And he's opening up my vision. Glory to double shot. Right. So I walk into your house. All right. Give God shot. And now God moves every hindrance and every delay from out of your house. And the devil can't mean to try to hurt you. What would have gotten to damage you? And God said, not so. Because he knew he was going to be here. What would have got on the floor? He said, not to us. And the third month, what would have got an acceleration? And I just want you to know, I just saw an angel standing beside you. And the angel is beside you. The angel is here to assist. What would the Lord say? As a long as you get faith, He's going to assist you. And before the week is out, you will get my number and you will give me the praise of God and what God has done. Because God sent you in here for such a time as this. And I heard the prophecy. Lord, I don't know where you stay, but 1230 is your service time. God not saying that. Right now. 
dances like never before to come through your hands. And you're going to bless your sisters. Oh, see, come on, see, because I called you to be a multi-millionaire, said God. Oh, somebody come to your hands. Oh, see, come on, 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 Because y'all so, and y'all so big. Huh. And the Lord told me to say to y'all what y'all want. He said, tell me what you want. He said, tell me, said God, what you want, because I'm going to give it to you. He said, because you've been sustaining my door. He called to the Lord. And I don't see, it ain't been no punk change either. He had a both side. And so now, According to Deuteronomy, the Bible says the blessing shall run upon you and overtake you. And God said, I don't want to see acceleration is running upon you and overtaking you. And I'm walking through your house right now. And God is telling me to take if you trust him. Glory to the most high. He said, bless somebody with your furniture because I'm getting ready to do something for you. See, 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 see right here, this is called somebody. I ain't going to do all that and you ain't going to get nothing. Because I'm going to get you. You're going to have to Choose and pick everybody. That's gonna help you get the job. All you have to do is stop paying. 
I feel my minutes. Acceleration. The Latin word. I'm going to work the etymology. Latin word. Acceleration means pacing. Yeah. Uh, Apostle, you went down there. That is the Latin word. Mm-hmm. I, say I just said, word. you went down there. Right. Latin, 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 Latin word. word. Come out here. You went down them stairs. Well, you are shot. You went down them the stairs. Yes. You better come on here. Acceleration. Talk about it. My sister. Pace is picking up. Yeah. Come on. Hey, ah, yeah, it's picking up. Pick up. Okay, you walked up in here, yeah. and everything was creeping to you. Yeah, taking his time to get to you. Yeah. Yes. Are you hearing? Yes. The answer was taking his time to get to you. Door seemed like it was just. Apparently, don't want to open. Yes. Are you hearing the Lord? Yes. I gotta help you with something. I don't want to go too fast. Yeah. You take me too fast. I, I need my ten degrees. <laughs> hold on. Hey, so speaking up. That's the acceleration. The capacity. Acceleration is where everybody jumping the shot. That's the hot up on shot. Y'all don't jump because y'all got understand. It is the capacity to gain speed. Yes, 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 yes. Capacity. That means God is going to stretch your faith to the place that it needs yeah. to be okay. automatically. Because we don't have 10 days for your faith to get there. Your faith has to already what? Be there. And so God has to stretch your capacity of your faith. And you hear what the Lord is saying? Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. And if we don't please God, then God can bless us because there is no faith. And when there is no faith of capacity, you ain't saying that. Because a lot of y'all want a whole lot of stuff, but you don't have the capacity of faith to get With a short time. What took somebody else a long time. Yes. Thank you. He said you got in the atmosphere uh-huh. of the anointing. Yes, no. Of acceleration. Yes. Is anybody listening? Yes. 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 Watch this. It says within a short time. He's going to increase uh-huh. in rate. He's going to increase the speed. Which is something called positive acceleration. Yeah. Everything about your life is about to be positive. Yeah. Now let me go ahead and throw a little sidebar in here. So you don't start acting crazy. Okay. okay, everything going well. Okay, y'all I this is too good, okay, God, because this is too good. I just know something coming up the street that he may knock my head off. And God said, because you said it, it's going to happen. But that was not my intent, said God. Because I brought you into the spirit of acceleration and I brought you into a positive acceleration, which means I'll stop it when I get ready. Glory to God. And if I called you to walk into the capacity to have acceleration on your life, you don't turn around. Well, when something bad is going to happen, you are the girl that is shot in the sea with all this joy in your eyes. Yes! 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 Somebody found me. Is that time? Is that time? Oh, tell me and she made. Bye, go.
the momentum speeding up. Amen. The momentum speeding up. The momentum is speeding up. Which means science, that that what you were used to. Coming in at the time that it was coming in. God said, I'm gonna cause it to speed up. Glory to God, that you're gonna have you are gonna have to open up three bank accounts. Yes, 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 yes,
Hallelujah. You need an object. So he got an object. He said, what do you have in your house? She said, I have a jar of a little oil. That's the object. He said, okay, now you got an object. Now I'm going to speak acceleration on it. That's right. Are you hearing the Lord? Yes. You need an object. Yeah. You don't need no battle. You don't need to be crying. You need an object. What do you have in your house that God can work with to cause the acceleration? At the rate she was going, she was going to do what? Lose everything. Okay. At the rate. At the rate she was going to lose everything. At the speed she was going to lose. At the acceleration. You better come on here. He didn't say, I prophesy that you're going to get. He said, what do you have? Let me ask you a question. Okay. Ask. What y'all working with? <laughs> Because if you don't have an object, then acceleration can't happen in your life. Okay. All right. I ain't got no bank. You better go get you some money. You better go borrow fit it out. This is the last time you go borrow. Because I need an object. So I need a man the bank account to be open. So if I can y'all got that, you better get by an object. Are y'all okay? Yes. Probably because acceleration is the pace of speeding up. Watch God going into another direction, but you have to already be in motion. Yes, already in motion. You don't get acceleration because you sit in the atmosphere. You have to already be in motion, and then when God begins to bring the word of acceleration. The acceleration calls the speeding up and then change direction. That's why God of our shutter says it's a new season. It's a new day because acceleration causes a new direction. Acceleration causes, amen, everything to speed up. Tell your neighbor, don't slow down. Don't slow down. Don't slow down. Don't slow down.
but when somebody is in the motion and God said, now I gotta accelerate you, I gotta change your plans because those plans was for the pace you're going at now. Right. Ain't no 
Because acceleration didn't hit our house. Everything about our life to just change. Amen. So everybody in here, stand up on your feet. Because I'm done. If you ain't getting from all that God did and the time we was locked in, then you ain't going to get it. Jesus said, Tell my disciples to hasten and come to the place where I have set aside for them now to be endowed with the Holy Ghost. I know what they did, I know they ran scared, I know they left their post. But go and hasten and tell them to hasten. Because I'm getting ready to do what I was sitting here to do. Y'all ain't stand up too soon. Hold up, oh shy. I just prophesied to us. It's time now. I said it's time now. I said it's time now. No, you ain't saying that. I said it's time now. I don't know I'm shy. I said it's time now. You don't know I'm gonna be shy. Go to God Jesus and go and tell them it's time now. Tell them to hasten to get an acceleration mode. Because now, glory to God, the little Moshe, I have risen. Oh, my And now what was taking this time, now I have to speed up. Glory to God, the little Moshe, tell them company is coming. I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to move for them. That's Matthew 28. Oh, God, from Zion. Y'all better hear Jesus in here. The believable says that Joseph was in prison. My God, and after two years, Lord, God, God gave the king a dream. The king woke up and said, what does this mean? But do you remember that my God, Joseph, gave the butler a word? He said, when you get up out of here, remember me. And the butler said, I got you. But my God, from time, it looked like that the butler forgot about Joseph. But tell your neighbor, the butler did not forget. Because of what time he had. But tell your neighbor. Jesus when he stopped. 
I got 30 seeds that fell into my ground on oh, the day of the new assignment. So I'm telling you, that 30 seeds, which is your seed, you in here. Y'all ain't saying that. Glory to God in your seed. It's fell into my ground. Y'all ain't saying that. But that's getting ready to be a return. It comes from my ground. You sow your seed in my crown. And the Bible said that Jesus did so much ministry in three years. Y'all not y'all ain't said nothing. So the next three years, y'all ain't said nothing. You got seven years, you got three years, and God said, Oh my God, I'm getting ready to tear your life up. Lord, I got all the way around. You're gonna be blessed like never before. Is anybody listen? I just need five praises.
We all have to already be in motion. It doesn't matter what people say. Yep. We have to already be in motion for God to accelerate you. We already have to be faithful in a little bit so God can accelerate you. And so I want you to go find three people. And I want you to prophesy to the three people. And when you get to the third person, you better break out and start praising God. Go to the three people and tell them a miracle of acceleration has just hit your house. A miracle Stop. 
I want the right people in the right place doing the right thing because we got work to do. Are you here with me? Are you here with me? So I'm excited because God has accelerated us. Are you here with me? And it's time for you to invest. Are you here with me? And don't hold back. It's time to, it's time to invest. Every month, I sold a five different major ministries. Five, every month. Okay, this one here, this one here is overseas and does that thing, boom, $100. This one over here, their marriage, I like their marriage and how they work together, boom. Okay, over here, he does movies and he does this, okay, boom. Yeah. Five different, yeah. every month. You, you're not saying that. Yeah. Why am I telling you? Not to tell my business. But you sow where you go. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yeah. And though you see me sow my ties, and the reason why you see me is because you need to know that I sow my ties. Yeah. But I don't sow my ties into my house. Right. I sow my ties into another house. Yeah. But I'm showing you. If you ever say, let me see your ties, then it's in there. Open it up. It's money in there. I just sent tithes. Are you hearing me? Yeah. This week I got to send more tithes. And it is not less than a hundred dollars. Because where I'm going. I said because where I'm going. Ain't because the people that is under me. Y'all ain't going to have no kibbles and bits. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all not going to be God, if y'all not going to be afraid to sow. Are you hearing me? And all you got is $20 and you sow your 20 But if you say that God got thousands of dollars, then open up your head and sow. Are you hearing me? I'm not no tight one. I'm not here, Lord God, and hold it back. And as a matter of fact, I said, God, I'm going to open up. Watch this. He gave us $1,000. Glory to God. When we first opened up this ministry over here, $1,000 came like that. And people turn around with all the people. They mean about the people. It's about God. Are you hearing me? Now I said, no. Take that thousand dollars and show it into somebody else's ministry. Now I said, not to nothing. Because we don't understand how it works. You don't know. Because we don't understand how it works. And you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And y'all not getting by. You ain't getting by up in here. Come on. Don't let them get by, Pastor. You got a house note? Yes. You got lights? Yes. You got gas? Yes. You got food? Yes. You got all that. Yes. And you need to be what? Paid. All right. Stop. Yes. So you'll never have another broke day. So when you say it is real, yes. Yes. that you can come into the flow of God. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. I said, are you hearing me? Yes. Now watch this. Watch this. I said, Lord, I want you to increase me. I want you to increase me three times of what I'm making already. Can you tap your name? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm a single parent. And I am a full-time ministry. Y'all not saying nothing. Y'all not saying nothing. Are you hearing what the Lord is saying? And what God gives me. I said, God, I need you to triple this. I need you to triple it. This is how much I want every month. Y'all ain't saying nothing. This ain't got nothing to do with this. Because everything I get here, I'll put it, glory to God, away. I don't touch nothing. Y'all not saying nothing. What everybody gives me, glory to God, online is what God blesses me with. But what comes in this house in pair, glory to God, it is set aside for where we're going. Yeah. Yeah. And then I sow it and give it back to people. Because we're going somewhere. Are you hearing me? Because we need the power of God. And I ain't gonna ask you for no ten dollars, you sit on a hundred dollars. So y'all get that out your head right now. Tell your neighbor, it don't matter if you don't like it. It's principle. It's principle. So everybody from all around the world. All around this world. Come and get your envelope. Get an envelope. So you can sow your seat. Sow your seat. Pass that out. Come, everybody, get up and walk. Okay, you got to put a penny in there. Amen. The Lord spoke to me and said, tell your boys to give me $5. I know that's right. They must have had a fit, girl. I know that's right. Oh, I said, huh? I, know I said, the Lord said, give him $5. Because oh. what he about to do for y'all. Apostle, you weren't in that car. Everybody in here. You weren't in that car. See, there were $50 okay. enough. Okay, come on here. To those, glory to God, you can do by PayPal. You can also do by the car. Amen. Glory to God. Now, the both sides. Don't be cheating, God. 
Don't be stingy. And don't be holding back. But it ain't all about that money. Okay, then stop. Stop paying your rent. I was with you about Stop paying your car pay. I see you still have it. Stop going over there, amen, to Olive Garden. Oh, Jesus. See, y'all ain't saying that because I just hit your belly right there. Yes. Oh, we, we're, we're King's kids. That's right. He's going to take care of us. Yeah, yeah. He's going to give to us. Yeah. Come here, lady in black. Come here. Girl, if you don't get up here, you're going to miss your blessing. You better run. You better, her. Swish, you better swish up here. <laughs> Accelerate and run. Because one thing about it, you can stand right there, precious. One thing about it, I can't show him my own image. Oh, I'm not going to get a return if I take my money and put it in it. I'm not going to get a return. And because you are tempted. And see, I can't stand when people think I'm doing this because I'm trying to be single. I'm not trying to be single. What I am trying to do is to show you this leader is a giver. Amen. And if you call yourself following the Christ in me, don't you want to see me here? You want to see me, right? Right? Because I want to follow somebody I can see them. Are you hearing me? So I'm going to sow into your life. Okay? So I have to split it because I'm going to sow into your life. So I'm going to sow your life. Don't put this back in here. Okay, ask somebody to give you a dollar or whatever. It's yours. Don't put it back in there. Thank you, Lord. Don't cry your business and your acceleration. Amen. Amen. Come here, precious. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, wait. Don't put this back in there. I guess I'm. Without 